Hello fellow Sudokans, welcome once again to Zen and the Art of the Guardian Sudoku Puzzle. It's still Sunday the 28th of December 2025 and I hope you are keeping well. Uh, I thought I'd come back on and play the impossible Sudoku. Uh, it's called that but it's never proved to be impossible on this channel at least. Um, but I haven't played it for ages and ages. Uh, but I did get... Um, an update from the animal hospital about my cat Joni and uh, you can see his video here and I'll read you the message they sent me it's, uh, it talks about his food first of all and then it says urination none, defecation none, vomiting none only one of those is good news uh, medications, why is it that they make the names of medications so difficult to actually pronounce I think there is actually, a, <laughs> there must be a kind of uh, committee that decides whether or not medicine is pronounceable and if it's too easy to say they won't allow it I'll read you some of the stuff Hepalac is uh, one I know because that's what I give him every day anyway Cisapride, okay I managed to say that one um, Amitriptyline Bethanecol, Bethanecol, okay I've never heard of any of these by the way Prazosin Onsior, Yunnan, that sounds Chinese, and AMC. All of those are medications that he's had so far today. I thought I was taking a lot of medication. Cat's even worse than me. This bit, next bit I don't like. It says attitude, drooling, sleeping, stressed, sitting in the corner of the cage. And he does look really stressed in the video. Um, hmm. It's a... Uh, Awful. <laughs> Don't know what to say really, but uh, you know, just have to sit it out and hope that he recovers and uh, hope that things go well. Uh, is there any good news today? Yes, there is a little bit of good news. Nothing to do with me or the cat, but some good news from um, for Ukraine because Canada has apparently pledged an additional U U.S. dollar, two and a half billion uh, aid package, economic aid package of. Uh, two and a half billion US dollars for Ukraine. Uh, not many more details given yet by the AP because that's just come in. News has just come in, but that's got to be good. And I know that he's on the way to see Trump now. And Trump's a lot more likely to be taking money away than get offering money. So that is some good news there for Ukraine and the people suffering there. Uh, let's see this. Uh, well, look at this uh, Sudoku puzzle. Impossible Sudoku. It's full of numbers. It's it's om there's almost nothing left to do, is there? So that means that it's probably going to have uh, a Sudoku ending, right? I mean, if it looks like this, it it must mean that the ending is going to be uh, a kind of Sudoku puzzle. So we'll see what we get. Now, of course, there's just one empty square in the middle here. So I guess we better do that first. What's the missing number seven? It looks like. So that's how we're going to start. And then for everything else, I think we'll just go around and see where we get to um because it's it's the whole board is spread out isn't it very nicely here so uh, let's see what we can see shall we just go around clicking here and hither and thither we've got a pair of twos two blocking down here we've got a pair of twos across there so twos are there twos are there pair of threes up there Hello, we've got fours across here, across here, down there. Fives blocking like this, and a five down there. I guess we're just going to go around a couple of times, seems like likely, and then we'll get to whatever's left our little Sudoku ending, I presume. of nines there so a pair of nines there. okay here we go nine 
blocking like this, nine across there, there's our nine, and then we've got nine blocking down here, so nine in one of those two squares blocking back up, nine across there, nine across there. That gives us a nine like so. Let's go around again. Like I say, I think we'll just go around a couple of times and see where we get to. Two blocking down there, there's a two. Uh, which gives us a pair of twos in those squares. So blocking up there, two blocking down here, two blocking across there. But look over here. Oh, well, in fact, we can place this already. Let, let's do that. Let's place the two there. I was about to say two in one of those two squares, but no, it's even better than that. Okay, you can see all of this, right? So two, one of those squares blocking up. There's our two. two blocking this square, this two blocking this square in the bottom row, there is the two in fact we should look here and there, that's eight blocking that square, that's got to be an eight last numbers are nine and the missing digit is a three <coughs> three blocking up here and across there, that gives us three in that square, one two three, some of you are thinking wow it can't be this easy can it, it probably isn't, it's probably gonna have like I said, some Sudoku type ending seems most likely. Um, don't get overconfident at this stage, I would recommend. But we have got another three blocking this square here, so that's a three there. And we can come back down five, I think that is we need there. Five blocking across here, up here, down there, five across there, there's a five. Oh, that's finished. Grand stuff. One blocking this square, this one blocking this square. There's a one in this column. Of course, very occasionally it does work out that we, it's, it just turns out to be an easy level game. That is rare, but it does happen sometimes. I'm blocking down like that. Maybe it's one of those. I just feel like it shouldn't be, though, because it's such a, such a uh, so many digits to, to begin with. Right, ones, four blocking this square, there's four blocking this square, that's a four then. Six stops this from being six. That's a six down there. This has to be eight. Three blocks. No, it's not three. Sorry, we don't need three. What's missing from here? Eight and something. Seven and eight, sorry. Okay, messed that up. Seven and eight from those squares. Oh, we've got eight blocking across there though. That's an eight. So that's a seven. That's a seven there. Seven across here. Seven across there. There's a seven. One blocking across there. We can come back here and get um, six, I think there is. <coughs> only one digit missing here that is a one and then this must be a four one and five are completed digits right how are we doing now uh, one and five one is done two twos are there and there three down here, what is missing here? Three, seven. Okay, that's three and seven down here. So this is two, six, nine, two, six, nine different squares. What's missing in this column? Two, five, no, two, 
two eight nine sorry two eight nine got eights up here what else do we know about eight Uh, I've got fours in these squares. <coughs> in this block, we've got sixes there. I think we've got eights anywhere, haven't we? What's along the top here? Four, eight, and three. Yeah, this is three and eight, right? Yeah, nines are like that. Okay, so I think uh, I'm going to fill in the pencil marks now because I think we are at this Sudoku ending. It looks like it might be a kind of X, Y. Uh, there are a lot of pairs here, so it could be a kind of X, Y wing finish. And if you want to know what that is, if you haven't played that before, you could check uh, other games on this channel. Because it's, it's, and in fact, especially uh, these impossible Sudokus, I've definitely had x y wings on there before what's this here eight and six <clears throat> six eight six eight yeah that looks to be right okay right down here we had seven and we had three in those squares and then we've got twos there uh sixes there nines in those squares i think and then one one block to finish. And see, I see there's a lot of pairs here. That's why I suspect. Uh, okay, we've got two across here, cro blocking across here, up here. That's a pair of twos. Three blocks across and up. So three's possible there, I guess. Four blocks across here, up here, up there. Actually, I did say before we had a pair of fours in those squares. Six blocks up here. Uh, okay, so six is there. Sevens, we've got a pair of sevens. Oh, do we have a pair of six and seven there? You might work out like that. You never know your luck. Eights then blocking up here and up here like that. So we got a pair of eights there. And so all we need is nine to help us out. And we don't get it because that's a pair of nines there. <laughs> okay. Okay, got it already. Yeah, X, Y, wing. Thought thought it had to be. Uh, we've got seven and three. So seven is our start number, right? Onto the three. That moves up here. We've got three and six. So that's our, this is our first number. This is our second number. Second number to the third number. And then back to the first number here, like this, which is the seven. Okay, so we start on seven. This is the beginning seven. That's the ending seven. Seven, three, three, six, six, seven. It means that this square, which can see the start and the end, cannot be a 7, must be a 3. And now we know that's going to be a 7 there. So that's going to be a 7 up there. And since we've got a 3 here, we know that neither of these squares can be 3. That must be a 3. So that's a 3, that's an 8. That's a 2. It looks like we only need one Sudoku digit here, or a trick or technique, I should say, here. I thought some sometimes you need more than one on these games, but sometimes not. And I think that's all we need today. What's missing here for? That's got to be an eight. So didn't turn out to be much of a challenge after all. I thought it was going to be uh, there was a chance that it could be a tough game because 
because, 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 because. But it wasn't. It's a very straightforward game. Definitely not impossible once again. Uh, anyway, sleep tight if you're off to bed now, as I will be quite soon. And uh, Monday is a work day, but not really for me. Got nothing to do tomorrow. Nothing to do until next year. So uh, more Sudoku will be played, I guess. Uh, unless there's some emergency or other. Take care. Bye-bye.